mati I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I really fucking don't. What's up, motherfuckers? I am back. Juan, from Safe Farm, got those broken sunglasses on. These sunglasses are better than yours because of Safe Farm, motherfucker. Say into some shit, man. Not that much shit to talk about, to be honest. I mean, tomorrow is Battleground. If you guys didn't watch my yesterday's video. I mean, my yesterday's video of my predictions for Battleground, um, link will be in the description. Link will be in the description. I mean, so make sure you watch that. I guess you know if you want to see what, to remember what my predictions are and. Uh, oh, burped. Excuse me, motherfucker. I just ordered two tubs of G Fuel. Right, I ordered a watermelon. As a tub and tropical rain as a tub, and then and there's a fucking sale going on where every time you order the tub, you get like three free packs. For, for, so with the fruit punch, I mean not fruit punch, with the watermelon tub, I got fruit punch. So I'm getting fruit. So I'm getting three packs for free of fruit punch, and for the tub tub of tropical rain, I'm getting three packets of um fucking lemon lime for free. And by the way. Um, it's really expensive if you buy two tubs, but the thing is, is that there's a cold going on. If, I'm not sure you guys know this YouTuber, uh, Beast to Beast. I watch him a lot. He's a really good YouTuber, you know. Good, good fucking. Good. I like him, you know. I like him a lot. And if you use this code, you will get like 40% off. Well, the sale just ended today, which is Saturday. Well, I believe it's still going on because I believe it ends at midnight. Yeah, it ends at midnight, you know. So make sure you use the code, a uh, Beast to Beast. I'll put the link in the description. I mean, it's already fucking. 7.14 right now at night, so if you're watching this, but like, before 12, you know, I'm not sure if the code's still gonna work. I think the code actually goes up to, to like, midnight, I believe, so yeah. So if you're watching this, like, around, like, 10 or 11 or whatever, then fuck to make sure you stop watching this fucking video. Bust some G Fuel and save 40% off. I saved, I saved about, like, 30 bucks, well, almost $30, it was, like, 28, $28, actually, so, like, almost $30, to be honest. So it's a good as deal, if you tell me. Yeah, but I'm actually putting that code in the link, you know, uh, beast to beast, just in case if you don't know how to spell it or whatever. Well, yeah, whatever. Let's get into the fucking news, I guess you can say. Last shit, not that much, uh, I'm, I mean, how much, not that much thing to talk about, you know, after the draft. The only thing, the only thing that's exciting about the draft is just, is just the cruiserweight division, to be honest, because WWE apparently has been signing a lot of those cruiserweights from the, um, from the CWC, so that should be interesting, man. Um, hopefully TJ Perkins gets signed too. Kuta Bushi already got fucking signed. Um, a lot of those, a lot of those guys in CWC are really fucking good, man. Really, really good. Especially that one guy, Alexander. I forgot his Alexander. Yeah, he's fucking. There's no way that there's. He's obviously signed. WWE is probably signing so many, so many people from the from the CWC for the main roster, you know, for Monday Night Raw to put in that in the in that cruiserweight, you know, cruiserweight division. If you tell me. Bring back Chava Guerrero, man. Bring back Chava Guerrero, cause he was a great cruiserweight, um, cruiserweight man. To be honest, I mean, he won the cruiserweight div um title like seven times, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he he's pretty good. So uh, right now he's in Lucha Underground, you know. So I don't think he would come back, come back to be honest. But yeah, I mean, that's one other guy that I want to see come back, you know. Whatever. What's we will? Come on, if this arc can fucking load for once, yeah. Thank you. I was about to say Von Der Hart for some fucking reason. I don't know why. Fucking Von Der Hart pisses me off, man. I'm Black Ops 3. Alright, what substance caused Roman Reigns' violation of the WWE wellness policy, guys? Interesting, right? A few weeks ago, it was revealed that Roman Reigns had violated the WWE wellness policy because of an alpitonium. I don't know how to say that fucking long ass word, dude. I'm F retarded. Come on, man. Fucking. There we go. That led to his WWE suspension. However, the, uh, why do I have my ar arm right there? However, that may not be the case, as it is now being reported that Roman Reigns actually filled the WWE Women's Policy because of a difficult, oh, uh, I mean difficult, of a different substance that worse that were seen that were seen before. According to reports from DailyWrestlingNews.com. The word going going around about Reigns' violation and suspension was due to Roman using 
Adderall. Adderall. Okay. Very recently, very recently, Adam Rose was suspended for the same reason which caused a huge downward um, spiral uh, uh, for him that eventually got him released by the company that won't have by the company that won't happen to rings but it's a lot over Adderall his suspension officially ended today which was yesterday by the way so rings will be right back to the starting this weekend although he will be in the triple threat match at Battleground he will be back in the ring on Saturday during a WWE live event which was last night and um in Wildwood I'm um, New Jersey boy New Jersey New fucking Jersey boy that's where Enzo's from Oh yeah I one of my friends I met on PS4 and and seeing him insane him motherfucker Oh whatever the word is that Vince McMahon is still upset with Roman after the suspension and violation but he just needs to walk the company line for a little while before he before he's back in the before he's in well just to fucking see uh, just needs to walk the company line for a little while before he's back in the good graces of the company holy shit dude there's an ad on this fucking hell on his girl do you think Roman Reigns will become WWE champion again or right, whatever Okay, he took the, he was taking Adderall, which is obviously that something for ADHD. You know, it gives me fucking. I actually had to take it because I have ADHD, I believe. I don't take the, I don't take those fucking pills at all because I think it's fucking useless. So I say fuck those pills. So I don't take those at all, whatever. Because I don't see the point at all. I mean, just because I have eight, just because I have ADHD doesn't mean I don't fucking have to take that shit. But boy, um, people also use it, you know for um. Cause it gives you energy, you know, it makes you stay up like all night or whatever. Because it's usually like it makes you focus more, you know. That's where Adderall is. If you don't know, you know, if you don't know what the fuck that is or you don't know what it does, you know, maybe because like it keeps it basically gives you energy to stay up, you know, stay up longer. And obviously, Roman Reigns has suspended because he took Adderall. But the thing is, is that he, if you're gonna take Adderall, you gotta have subscription, you know, you gotta have permission by a doctor and stuff like that. Obviously. Obviously, I just want to put that out there. Obviously, I have permission from the doctor. I'm not just gonna fucking go out like a dumbass and do and take some stupid ass fucking drug and get and get trouble by the law. You know, Roman Reigns obviously got trouble by the law. Obviously, for not for taking it without a description. So, maybe if I had to guess why, I I have to kind of feel bad. I'm not gonna lie, man. I really do feel bad about all that shit that I said to Roman Reigns. I'm not gonna regret anything that I said about him, but I honestly do feel bad because. I thought he was on some fucking steroids or some shit or some different type of drugs, you know? Maybe fucking cocaine. I, I don't know. I mean, you don't, you don't know, you know? You, when you feel a drug test, you don't, it can be any fucking drug out there. Like, I, I, I doubt it would, be, it would be fucking cocaine or, or and marijuana or whatever. <laughs> Imagine if it was, dude. That would be so fucked up, bro. Holy shit, man. Roman Reigns would honestly probably be fired if he was on, like, on fucking marijuana, cocaine. Yeah, whatever. I thought like I thought he would be on like on painkillers or whatever steroids. Like I said, some type of steroid, but no, it's just Adderall, you know. So if I had to guess why you had to take it, is because maybe because the WWE superstars, man. For people who don't know, man, is that the WWE superstars are always on the road, man. They are always on the fucking road, man. Like three hundred plus days. Um, I uh, it's I believe it's like yeah, it's like three hundred plus days on the road, like a year, man. So that's a lot of fucking days. Like just being on the road, man, driving to city to city, state state to state, you know, it just gets annoying. So maybe he needed a fucking maybe he borrowed one from a friend or from a family member, you know, you, you don't know. To keep him awake, you know, maybe he was fucking tired but he had to get to a different city, a different or to a different state, you know. Because he was fucking tired and he, and he probably needed something to um to give him to give him energy. But the thing is, is that same time is that it's it's his fault, man. Why, when you're a special, I said this before. When you're a leader, he was obviously a D fucking guy. By the way, I do not hate Roman Reigns. I do not hate Roman Reigns, even though I've said so much shit about him. I do not hate Roman Reigns, right? I hate what WWE is trying to do with him. You know that makes sense. Like they're always trying to make him the fucking guy. They shove him, they shove him down and fucking throat like fucking crazy. It get you guys, you guys get the deal. It's just in on his fuck, you know. That's the thing. That's what I hate what WWE is trying to do with him. I don't hate Roman Reigns at all. I just hate what WWE is trying to do with him, man. It's it's stupid. That's it. I'm not, I'm not going to get into that again because I really fucking don't want to. But yeah, so maybe he had to take it, you know, because 
Like I said, they're, he's, the wrestlers, they're always in the fucking road, man. 300 plus days. Imagine you being in the road, going city to city, 300 plus days. You know? But the thing is, is that if, when you're the guy, when you're like the leader of the fucking company, basically, you should be fucking knowing what you're taking, you know? Like, he should knew that, okay, before I take this, I should think, you know? If I take this, I will fully drug test. And, and Vince McMahon's not going to trust me anymore. But same, so, so at the same time, it's his fault for taking it, you know? If he got for getting suspended, you know? But I honestly kind of feel bad, you know? Because I honestly thought that he was on some type of steroid, you know? Maybe fucking painkillers. Or, you know, like steroids. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if he was on steroids. I mean, most of the wrestlers have gotten, have gotten caught with steroids, you know? Like, it's fucking unbelievable. I mean, wrestler, wrest, wrestlers have gotten caught with steroids and shit. But, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, that's, that's what I think about it, you know? But, yeah, it's like he should have known. It. But the thing is, is that maybe he didn't know that... He didn't, maybe he didn't know that by taking Adderall, he was filled the drug test. Like, we don't know where he got it from. He obviously, I, since he doesn't have a description for it, he obviously got it from a fucking, from a friend. You know, maybe from someone in the company, maybe from someone from WWE. Maybe, maybe he was on the road with someone, and he was like, all right, man, I'm fucking tired, bro. Like, I don't feel like driving this shit at all, maybe. We, we still don't, you know, so maybe his friend, or maybe some guy on the road was like, you know what, dude, what if I gave him, this, cause I know that it will fuck him up, you know. Maybe someone wanted him to fucking like fail, you know. If that makes sense, you know. Maybe someone wanted to fucking see him get suspended, you know. Which is kind of fucked up, I guess. You know, I mean, it really, really kind of is, you know. But yeah, we don't know who gave them that Adderall in the first place. We don't know if it maybe it was a family member or a friend, or maybe a friend, or maybe maybe one of his coworkers, you know, like in WWE. We we don't know at all. But yeah, but that's what I think about that, to be honest. But it's, it's like, at the same time, it's his, it's his fault, man. Like, he should obviously know what he's taking, what, he, what he's putting in his body. He obviously should fucking know, you know. But I'm not going to regret anything that I said about him, like, in the past, you know. I'm not going to regret anything at all. Whatever. Rumor. Jinder Mahal returning to WWE. Jinder Mahal. Remember Jinder Mahal? Jinder Mahal, rumored Jinder Mahal returning to WWE. Jinder Mahal had a fairly successful run in WWE when he was um, with the brand from 2010 through 2014. He is ultimately remembered for his time alongside with the Great Khali. Whatever happened to the Great Khali? Remember? Yeah, I remember him. As as one third of the three MB. Oh, the three MB were a bunch of. There were nothing but a bunch of fucking retarded clowns on our TVs, man. Seriously, oh my god. Jinder Mahal had fairly success. I read that already. already, What the fuck? The funny thing is that the latest stable led by Heath Slater has been broken up by the WWE draft. So it is possible that WWE is looking for old talents to pair with him now that he is a free agent. According to a rumor from ProWrestlingSheet.com, WWE has been talking... Talking to Jinder Mahal about a potential return to WWE, to WWE, which is a curious thing. Apparently, it was it has been um been been at the oh, oh at the last wait oh at the least a few weeks since the two sides have been hey had a decision. But WWE is ex- is exercising every um option to add more depth to the WWE roster than that has. Mahal. Has a solid wrestler with a unequal gimmick, so maybe WWE think that it is a much better time for him to become bigger star on WWE than he was during his first run with the company. That's so true. His first run was nothing but a fucking retarded clown, like I said. Um, unlike the third um third member of Three MB, Drew Galloway, who has been um. Successful since leaving WWE back in 2014, Mahal hasn't been able to find much success on the independent scene. Do you want to see Jinder Mahal in WWE? See, I was what WWE was trying to do, man. They're, just, they're obviously trying to get a lot of fucking people to come back, you know, like a, a lot of veterans, basically, you know, for the main roster. But if he comes back, I don't see him being a solid mid card, you know. I, I see him just being nothing but a fucking. Just to fill up matches, you know, that makes sense. Just to fucking make Apollo Crews and, like, Corbin 
and fucking Zane, maybe Owens, just go over, man. That's that's what I see, man. I see. That's what that's what I see. If he does a big turn, you know. That's what I see happening. There gonna be nothing but fucking. I I really don't know what what to think about it. I mean, his first run was not like said nothing but a retarded ass clown. To be honest, with fucking Heath Slater and Drew McIntyre, but Drew McIntyre is actually doing really good in TNA. You know, well now his name is Drew Galloway or whatever. But I don't know. I feel like if he does return, like say, I I really don't know anything about this. To be honest, I if I had to guess, honestly, it's gonna be nothing but it, just to fill up matches, just to make people go over or whatever. So I don't know. Unless I don't know. That's what I think about that. I really don't know anything about that at all whatsoever. All right, Kurt How Kurt Hawkins. Remember, I remember Kurt Hawkins, whatever the fucking name is. One of the Edge heads was Zack Ryder. Kurt Hawkins has re-signed with WWE to help build SmackDown roster. During his time with the company, Kurt Hawkins have, was seen as one of the most wrestlers under the WWE umbrella between 2006 and 2014. He's very well known as one of the half of Edge heads, along with Zack Ryder, who. Um, who helped a heel edge get away from get away in the ring antics to get victor, vi, victories or against strong opponents and back in 2014 Hawkins was released by the company for a budget cuts and he never really had momentum with a singles run on WWE television after some time in TNA and on the independent scene Hawkins may be back according to reports from wrestlezone.com Kurt Hawkins is signing a deal to return to WWE to help with the roster depth. Like once again, man, I think same thing. Same thing. What I thought about Jordan Mahal will happen to Kurt Hawkins. To be honest, SmackDown after the after the brand section, and he'll be used as an enhancing talent mainly. So basically, just making. Like that's like, just what I said about Jordan Mahal, but just by making like Corbin or Cruz. Like those other guys, you know, the medical just go over basically. And doing that. See, that's what I think. It didn't seem like Hawkins and WWE ended on bad terms, but they just ended their relationship. Now that Kurt Hawkins can be some of use to the product, it could be um beneficial beneficial for both of them going forward. It was recently reported that WWE is looking for more enhancement talent to help. Elevate a lot of the talent on both Raw and SmackDown for the brand split to help build new stars. This is clearly what WWE had in mind. Do you think Kurt Hawkins could get a real push in NXT or on SmackDown? If anything, okay, I don't give a fuck about the push. I don't think he will get a push at all. Just what, just like I said about General General Mahal, and just what I said in that article is that Kurt Haw Kurt Hawkins will be. Nothing but a fucking just to fill up matches, basically. You know, like I said, just to make people go over, basically. So it would just basically just be used, I guess you can say. And I, I don't want to say used, you know, because sounds like sounds like a fucking kind of like a dick way, you know, because I don't think WWE will use someone. So, like, if Jinder Mahal and Kurt Hawkins do come back, you know, they'll just be used just to fucking fill up matches, like I said, you know. The brakes are not going to be important at all, you know. Just, just put it that way, you know. So, we know, so now you know that if they do come back, there'll be nothing but fucking. How do I say, man? What's the right word? Jobbers, I guess you can say. You know, the word. They're not gonna be. They're not gonna get a push. They're not gonna get nothing. I mean, like fucking nothing. You know. I, yeah. So I don't know. See. Yeah. Whatever. Rhino. Rhino returning, dude. Rhino. By the way, Rhino did re return to NXT, but Rhino returned to SmackDown to help build Raw and SmackDown rosters. Once again, man, same thing with Kurt Hawkins and Jinder Mahal. Maybe, but but, Jen, but Rhino is different, man. Rhino is different, though. I think he actually deserves like an old push, honestly. Unlike Kurt Hawkins or even Jinder Mahal, Rhino has a much bigger name in the industry. That is true, and and to the WWE universe, which will make a victory over him a lot more meaningful. Yeah, exactly, man. I feel like if he does go to the main roster, he honestly will probably get, like just like an old push in the mid card, maybe. Yeah. In NXT, Rhino has been doing um, that on a fairly um, regular basis. This week, Rhino vs. Samoa Joe aired on NXT, which saw the former ECW champion putting over um, current NXT champion. According to reports from WrestleZone.com, Rhino is now 
expected to do the same thing on the main roster. Come on. And will most likely be joining SmackDown in, in the very near future as a veteran talent. See, just, see like I said, like, same thing could have happened to Rhino. But the thing is, is that I don't think Rhino should be used just to pull over talent, you know. I feel like he should just get like a little push, you know, if you tell me. Maybe get a chance. Maybe give him a chance to get to win the IC title, maybe. I don't know. His goal will be to continue putting over new talent and give him a quarterly victory over a veteran of the industry. Interesting. Which is exactly what he should do, should be doing, if he is going to, if he's going to. Rhino has been getting into politics as well in Michigan. That is a good thing for him. That actually really is getting into politics. And the NXT Universe has recently created the Vote for Rhino chant to let him know that he has, that he has their support. It, it seems like that. WWE will be bringing back a lot more talent like Rhino and Kurt Hawkins into the fold to put over future stars of WWE. But Rhino may have a better chance to get a sizable push on the main ro- on his on his main role. See, like I said, you know, see, I like the idea how WWE is gonna try and use him, you know, just to put over the talent. But like just like I said in the last sentence, that he could be getting a sizable push. Out of his role, so he could be getting like a little push to at the same time, you know. So I agree with that, you know. Give him like a little push at least too, you know. I don't know what kind of push, you know. Maybe I don't think he would win the title. To be honest, I don't think he would have won any title. But at least give him like a little push, you know. I don't know. WWE rumor: Teddy Long says two former United States Championships could be returning to WWE. Guess what? You remember that? I'm about to tell you. Boo! I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing that shit. Teddy Long says that two former United States champions are returning to WWE. The WWE hasn't really pulled its weight when it comes to huge surprise returns, but the IWC might uh, witness a returning. Of the wins, it was reported a couple of days ago that the Rhino and Kurt Hawkins might be signed once again by WWE. Teddy Long was on Gerwick Report Report podcast earlier this week. <coughs> Excuse me, and he had something. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me, interesting to say. The longest um serving general manager of SmackDown believes that Shelton Benjamin and MVP. Oh, remember MVP man? Oh my God! Dude. And Shelton Benjamin, dude, those two guys—they were good. They were good mid cards, man. They—they they really were. They really were good ass mid cards. Like they were like upper mid cards, you know. They were really good, you man. I fucking miss them. Um, superstars. Um, MVP are a couple. Shelton Benjamin and MVP are a couple of superstars. The WWE has invited back to the company, according to Long. Um, MVP admitted. When they met at a recent wrestling um event, that he and Shanta Benjamin are due to give medical tests, after which they will be back on the rosters. This isn't the first time both their names have been mentioned in the in this context. Reports have been swimming around of their ta- of their returns, but this this is the closest they have been to confirmation. The latest time MVP heard. Heard um tell of such he denied it. He remains um farm f- for him whatever in in the sent in the in the states stents whatever as this tweet describes. All right, I'm gonna read exactly what MVP tweeted. The same reports that had us at the draft, the ones that have us at the at the rumble every year reports, and he put like a link of fuck of something. I don't know, whatever. Both superstars held a United States Championship and the Tag Team Championships, with Benjamin having won the ha- having won the IC title. Three threes. And MVP was released um, from his Lucha Underground um, contract when he hosted some performers on his podcast, and they discussed on air the next episode of the promotion. See, I like this man. If Shonda Benjamin and MVP do come back, I hope they, I hope they get a chance, man. I really want to see them. I want to see them both um have a um run with the United States champion again. You know, they, they were good mid cards. They really fucking were, no doubt. 
They were really good mid cards. I put them on SmackDown. To be honest, I would love to see them both on SmackDown. To be honest, yeah, but I don't think that's gonna. I don't think they're gonna put both of them on SmackDown. But if anything, maybe put one on Raw. Maybe put. I don't know. If you had to tell me, I, I see them both being on SmackDown. To be honest, but yeah, I I I, lo I liked um Shunt Division and MVP man. They were good mid cards. They really were. And what SmackDown needs is a lot more mid cards because their mid cards are not looking that good. I mean, they don't, they don't have that much. People in the mid cards, they really fucking don't. So that's what I think about that. Is I put if they do return, put them on SmackDown and put them in the mid card. Oh shit. Um. Fuck, dude, I deleted the article, man. I had this article save about WWE not introducing a second row title. Fuck, dude, I deleted the article. I'm trying to find it now. Uh, <laughs> dude, I fucking did. Oh my god, dude. Oh yeah, okay, I found it. All right, all right. Rumor: WWE not introducing a second row title. If you had to tell me, what was the fucking point of having a draft? What was the point of having the fucking brass? But what was the point of us watching a fucking watching la watching SmackDown on Tuesday, which is what which which was just a fucking mess. Rumor, um, WWE not introducing a second world championship for the brand session. WWE draft is over. So the only question is that remains is that do, there's a lot of questions that fucking remain in the first place. What WWE plans to do with the most of their championships? First of all, it's like they're, they're, they're a bunch of fucking retards with their heads cut off, man. WWE, WWE should have went to this draft and brand split with knowing what to do with their championships. That's where you would have thought, but nope, they, they didn't, man. They're, brand session. So far, we know, um, it's brand accession. So far, we know that the WWE Women's Championship and WWE Tag Team Championship will will remain on Raw because Charlotte and a New Day aren't defending their titles at all this Sunday, which is tomorrow. However, WWE hasn't uh, revealed the fate of those championships or the WWE Championship, and likely won't until after Battleground because the IC because the IC and the US Championships could all change hands on Sunday. I don't think they will, to be honest. I think that it makes so much sense. It's just to have the IC title on SmackDown and have the United States title and Raw. It really, it really does make. It just makes so much sense, to be honest. Like, think about it. Use your fucking head for once. Uh, titles will be featured in both shows. Wait, wait, did I read the article? Or no. However, WWE hasn't um revealed the fate of those. Ch okay, re oh, I read the article. After that, the I'm um, article, I mean paragraph, or whatever. After that, the expectation is that Raw or SmackDown will instead will have a second world championship in WWE and the women's and the women's and tag team titles will be featured on the both shows wait wait what in WWE and the win wait an expression in Raw and SmackDown will splash your second world championship in WWE and the women's and tag team titles will be featured on both wait the women's are getting tag team titles what the fucking mistake the fuck dude that's a mistake if that happens. That's a mistake. Top on a fucking mistake. Um, the room, um, as usual, and the rumors are half right. According to a report from RingsideNews.com, the WWE is gradually committed, committed may have revealed that WWE Championship will be featured on both Raw and SmackDown. Once again, what was the point of a fucking draft? What was the point of a brown spray WWE? Please tell me what was the point then. It will just be rushed, man. It will be rushed if they have just the WWE titles on the WWE title on both shows, man. Floating. It will be. It will literally be rushed feuds. It will be rushed storylines. It, it really will. Like, think about it. it. It's then what was the fucking point of a brand split? Then I don't get the point of it. Then. Um. Okay, I I lost my mat now, dude. I don't even know the fucking mat. After the expectation is that Raw and SmackDown, okay, uh, according to a report from RingsideNews.com, um, the other question committed uh, already that part already will feature on both Raw and SmackDown, uh, Raw and SmackDown, but it won't happen until after SummerSlam. The biggest problem with a second world title is that it will most likely lead to all championships getting duplications. What the fuck? That's bullshit. That's fucking stupid. All they have to do is bring it. Just have a roll title for SmackDown. That's it. Don't bring in any duplicates. Don't bring in a second. Don't bring in a some fucking second set of women's title. Don't bring. Don't bring in a fucking other set of tag team titles. There's not enough fucking tag teams. Not enough 
women. It, it, there's not enough women to split up the women's division. Not enough tag teams to split up the tag team divisions. We will just get the same feuds over and over again. Simple as that. How fucking... Oh my god, man. I, it's, I said that before right in my other fucking video. It's, I'm not even keep repeating myself. Fuck that shit. Um, they are... Okay. There are many ways to make one title work for both shows now. How do you think WWE should um, scratch the company's titles? See, you would have thought that WWE had this shit whole plan now, but they fucking don't. They are a bunch of fucking retarded chickens with their heads cut off, man. They really are, man. And bring in a fucking second world title for SmackDown. If you ever make SmackDown a thing, bring in a fucking second world title. And first of all, it creates more stars, man. It really does. It creates a lot more main eventers like, like Corbin, Cruz maybe, fucking... Styles maybe Ziggler maybe you can have another chance. The real, the the real. I don't, I don't even think he has on SmackDown to be honest. But yeah, it really does, man. That's what I'm gonna say about that, man. Seriously, bro, it just creates a lot more main eventers, creates a lot more stars. And if you're gonna have SmackDown be a thing, then bring have another fucking real title, bro. Seriously, how would they fucking if they do? How would they lead to bringing in more titles? If they bring in more titles, a fucking mistake. Is I said this before, it's a mistake. Top of a fucking mistake. Really is, bro. Once again, I'm just a, I'm just a fucking kid. So who the fuck am I, right? Who the fuck am I? But yeah, that's all I have to say about this, guys. Hope you guys like this video, I guess. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what the fuck you're waiting for. I, I really, I, please tell me why. What the fuck are you waiting for, bro? I really fucking don't know at all. But yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, that's all. That's it for the fucking video. And this week, I will be having G Fuel unboxing, you know, taste testing. We'll be taste testing Tropical Rain. And I'll have another video of me taste testing uh, fucking watermelon. And because you know, all those flavors that signal, because I'm gonna eat tropical rain, um, watermelon, lemon lime, and fucking fruit punch. I never tasted any of those flavors I haven't at all whatsoever. So, like, basically, I will be having taste testing on all four, basically. But yeah, but yeah, that's it for the fucking video. I'm all motherfuckers. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what the fuck fuck are you waiting for bro I, I really don't know man I would love to know what are you waiting for man I would Juan from State Farm wants to know right now man if I can change my gamer tag in the PSN I would honestly probably change it to Juan to State from, from State Farm to be honest but that's right that's right for the fucking video I'm out peace the fuck out and remember I will have that code you know for G Fuel if you want to buy it you know buy it buy a tub you know before it, exp before it ends you know right now it's 745 and hopefully I'll upload this hopefully you guys are watching the video you know so you guys can use the code a beast to beast I will have like if you don't know how to spell it I will have it exactly how it is down in the description you know, like the way how I exactly have it down there that's how you should put it in the discount you know it's a beast to beast uh, you get 40% off you know it's a good deal you know so if you're gonna buy like a tub of G Fuel you will get like $15 off but for me it got like I believe you got thirteen dollars off somewhere around there, but for me, I bought two tubs, so, so then I got twenty-eight dollars off. You know, good ass deal. But yeah, so make sure you use that code. It's not my code, like so. It's um, it's a beast, a beast um, YouTuber. He's really awesome. He's a vlogger, basically. But yeah, I'm done. I'm done with the video. Peace the fuck out.